fear is, it could be many things, but there's usually this voice, this inner critic that's inside of us. And we all have it. It could be called the inner critic, the shadow, a golem, whatever it is. If we give it attention, it grows. <laughs> I had this thought and I didn't realize that I want to do it until I really faced this inner fear, I guess. I wanted to break this boxed border off a canvas and I wanted to go outside the border with my mixed media, with certain textures and I realized that I wasn't comfortable. I wanted to stay in the box and I just, you know, broke the box in some of the paintings where it breaks the borders. I've also been fearful from this new journey that I've been on. I've been studying a lot of courses in self-development. I'm uh, studying uh, coaching in the LCE, accredited by the International Coaching Federation. Writing, there's so many new things. I think we always have to listen to this inner voice. Every phase in our life, it's never stuck. Are we guided by love, by our inner soul, or by fear? Because when we're guided by fear, we can stop doing so many things we love. But when we're guided by this inner compass, things just flow much um, smoother. If fear wasn't in the way, what would you be doing in your life now?